So whether you carry all of your shoe shine supplies in something like this or something like this, Every guy should have shoe shine supplies on hand at their home. And today I'm going to tell you exactly what products I think you need in your starter shoe shine kit. Hey guys and welcome back. So one of the questions we get asked a lot is what shoe product should I be carrying in my shoe shine kit at home? Now a shoe shine kit is something that guys used to have on hand. My granddad had one, actually both my granddads did. My dad had a shoe shine box growing up. He was in the military and we always enjoyed shining his shoes on the weekends. But it's just one of those staples that every guy needs to have. Whether you have your shoe shined at a shoe shine stand or whether you bring them into a store like ours to have your shoes you know, cleaned up, there's always gonna be a time when you have to shine your shoes on your own. And it's, it's so helpful if you already have those products in hand and ready to go. And another question we get asked is what products do I need? You know, I, I don't, I'm not really into shoes. I just want my shoes to look good. What do I need? Today, I'm gonna to break it down for you and I'm gonna tell you which supplies I think every guy needs in their starter shoe shine kit. So I've got a box here, uh, one of our cedar boxes that we carry here at our shop. And these are basically or should I say, these are the basics that I think every guy is gonna need in their shoe shine kit. So I'll start off with all of the materials and then I'm gonna tell you which products I think you need first, then second, then third, and you can continue to grow from there. So the first thing that every guy needs are, are two brushes. And I say two brushes because most guys are gonna have a black pair and a brown pair. Now, if brown is your thing and that's all you have, okay, then just one brush will work. But again, most guys are gonna have a black pair and a brown pair, so you need two brushes. Because what you don't wanna do is get black polish on one brush and then transfer that same black polish over to your brown pair. So again, that's why I always say having two brushes is the way to go. And then sometimes they'll come in like a black hair, the other comes in a neutral colored hair like this one. Uh, other times like this, you could just buy two of the same brush and like what I like to do is I just label it on there black and then I put brown on the other brush. That's gonna be a staple, you gotta have a brush. So the second thing you have to have is a good shoe conditioner. So what I've got in this one is some of the Saphir Renovateur. Uh, it's another conditioner we carry here. A shoe conditioner is just imperative if you have a good pair of leather shoes. Even if you don't have a good pair, and let's say you have uh, construction boots or a, a work boot or cowboy boots or whatever it is you wear, leather is a natural material and it's going to dry out after time. And I can't tell you how many guys bring shoes into our shop or I see guys out and about walking around and their shoes just look really distressed and extremely dried out. And I bet they've never put anything on their shoes since the day they bought them. Well, a shoe conditioner is definitely something that you're going to want to buy because not only is it going to lightly clean your shoes, but it's going to put a lot of those natural conditioners and oils back into the leather that's going to make it soft and supple again. Now, the next thing that you're going to want to have are shoe creams. Now, if you haven't watched any of our other videos before, watch them and then I've said the same thing. Shoe creams are probably the number one product that I tell customers to buy. I prefer them over wax uh, just because they have a lot of conditioning agents in them. They have a lot of natural oils and, and waxes again. And it's just one of those things you can put on your shoe over and over and over again. And it's, it's gonna lightly build a shine, but it's not gonna build up that cakey wax feeling you're gonna get if you continually put wax onto your shoe. So what I would do is I would definitely recommend buying a shoe cream in whatever color shoes uh, you have. Uh, so let's say you have a black pair, maybe a light brown pair, maybe a, a dark brown pair. You want to buy a black cream, a light brown cream, and maybe a dark brown or a medium brown cream. So that's definitely something that I recommend every guy having their, having their shoe shine kit, shoe creams. Now the next thing I recommend every guy having is a tin of wax. Uh, so this one is another one by Saphir, uh, the Pate Deluxe. It, it comes in all different colors. Obviously, I mean, most of you guys out there know what shoe wax is. So it comes in black, brown, tan, neutral, you name it. A good tin of wax is definitely a, a product that every guy needs to have in their starter shoe shine kit because adding a, a layer or two of wax, it, it's really up to each customer. But not only is it going to add a level of protection against uh, moisture and dirt and dust to to those leather shoes, but it's also gonna be able to build up that shine. So if you're a guy that really likes a, a nice 
uh, shiny toe and, and heel. Adding wax is going to be the only route to go to really build that up to a nice looking shine. Uh, but again, it's not something that you have to have. It's just one of those products that I would recommend every guy just having on hand. After that, that really, those are the three products that I tell guys you really need. Conditioner, a cream, and a wax. Now, after those three products, these are all just accessories. You don't necessarily have to have these products, but the things that I, I recommend to guys buying are little dauber brushes. So we have little round ones here. Uh, Saphir also makes these uh, little square ones that do really good or do a good job of working into the corners of the um, Adalde or line of the shoe creams. And the other thing that I would recommend having is just a nice cotton chamois uh, that, that you can use to wipe down uh, the shoes. Uh, you can use it to apply the creams. You don't have to have one of these, but you know, if you, you can use a t-shirt or an old rag, anything like that is definitely going to come in handy when you're shining your shoes. I told you I would rank the, the products of what I think are the most important in your starter shoe shine kit. So if I were just going out today and I were going to buy one product for my shoes, hands down, the number one product I would buy would be the shoe creams. After that, I would probably recommend buying a shoe conditioner. Uh, I don't think you can go wrong having a shoe conditioner. They can be applied to, uh, again, construction boots, work boots, shoes, uh, you name it. Again, if it's leather, it's going to need a lot of lotion and conditioning products. And again, I cannot recommend enough something like the Sphere Red of a Tour, which is just an incredible product. And it, it does have some light waxes in there, so it will bring out just a mild shine on your shoes. That would be my second choice for products if you were to go out and buy two products for your for your shoe shine kit. And the last product I would recommend is the wax. Uh, again, wax is a great product. It's gonna protect your shoes. It's gonna, it, it gives you uh, the capability of put, putting a different patina look on there and building up that great shine. But I wouldn't say it is an absolute necessity to have a shoe wax in your, in your shoe shine kit. So I would put that at number three. I hope that really helps you all when it comes to building up your shoe shine kit. Again, a, shoe, a good shoe shine kit is just something that every guy needs in their closet. Um, you never know when a situation's gonna come up and you have to have your shoes looking good right then, maybe within the hour to go to an interview or to uh, meet up with a client. And it's just nice to have those products ready to go in your closet. Again, thanks for joining us. You guys, if you have any questions about this tutorial at all, or any of the question or any questions regarding the products, leave us a comment below and we're always trying to get back to those uh, personally. Hit that like button below, hit the little bell button so you're notified of all of our new videos coming out. And again, thanks for joining us.